Welcome to 22 and 23. Today's topic is pregnancy. Uh, the vast majority of my questions revolve around some way pregnancy, pregnancy scares, um, what can cause pregnancy. So we're going to break down the basics of pregnancy, how it happens, and when you should be testing for it. So first of all, how does pregnancy happen? There are three main steps that need to happen for pregnancy to occur. The first is ovulation, which is the release of an egg from an ovary. The egg is released into the fallopian tube where, if present, sperm will meet up and result in fertilization. So that's step two. Then that fertilized egg needs to implant into the wall of the uterus. So implantation is step three. So those are the basic steps of pregnancy, but it all starts with that first step, ovulation. So when does ovulation happen? The menstrual cycle describes the time from day one of a period until the day right before the next period. And so the menstrual cycle is the series of hormones that happen during that time. Midpoint in there, about two weeks before your next period, is when ovulation happens. Again, so that release of an egg from an ovary. Now around ovulation is the fertile window. And realistically, during the fertile window is the only time that someone with female anatomy can get pregnant. Any other time, the chance of pregnancy is essentially nil. So when is the fertile window? The fertile window is five days before to about 24 hours after ovulation. Why? So the 24 hours after ovulation, obviously because that egg is released and then floats through the fallopian tube to the uterus and eventually floats out of the uterus or dies and the egg is no longer good. So it's really only good for about 12 to 24 hours. The five days before ovulation is because that's how long sperm can survive in the uterus. So if someone has unprotected sex before ovulation, there's a chance that sperm might be hanging out for up to five days just waiting in that fallopian tube for the egg to be released and then fertilization, implantation. So um, fertile window, about a week time frame or so, somewhere in the middle of the menstrual cycle. And that's it. That's when pregnancy happens. Now, there is also then that waiting period of, oh my gosh, am I pregnant? Knowing when to take a test, a home test is very important. So don't take a test too soon or you might get a false negative. Um, waiting up until either three weeks after sexual intercourse or if you've missed a period, then take a pregnancy test. And at that time, that's when you're going to get the most accurate test result. Okay, pregnancy. So, on to your questions. Question number one. If a woman has sex two days after her period, can she still get pregnant? Okay, so this goes back to the menstrual cycle. And if you have a very short menstrual cycle, which some menstrual cycles are like 21 to 24 days long, um, and you have a longer period, yeah, it's possible that you are within that fertile window two days after your period. So the only real way to know is to figure out exactly when you ovulate, which is difficult. You can use some of those apps that track your period and your menstrual cycle and tell you when you are probably ovulating, when you are probably most fertile. You can use some home ovulation kits or our test strips you can also do, some people find that basal body temperature measurements are helpful, so checking your body temperature under your tongue every morning when you wake up, 
Some people notice a slight increase in their temperature right before ovulation. Um, some people can also tell when their cervical mu mucus changes. So your vaginal discharge might change a little bit around the time of ovulation to a kind of an egg white consistency. So ways to tell when you're ovulating, but to answer your question, yeah, it's possible. It just kind of depends on your cycle. Question number two, my cycle is irregular and it's very long. I had sex after my first day of my period. Oh, we used a condom and he didn't come in me. My boobs are sore. It's been seven days since sexual intercourse. Can I still be pregnant? So many components to this question. Um, one, your cycle's irregular and it's very long. You had sex 13 days after your, the first day of your period. So that might be like within your fertile window. Tough to say for sure. Um, so again, back to that first question, tracking your cycle and ovulation is, is the best answer for you. But, so it's possible. We use condoms and he didn't come at me. Good job. That really reduces your risk of pregnancy. Um, your boobs are sore, not specific. Boobs can be sore for a variety of reasons. And if you are only seven days after sexual intercourse, that is just too soon to have any sort of pregnancy symptoms. And so to answer your question, sure, you could be pregnant. The chances are very, very low, mostly because of what you told me about the condom and he pulled out. So that's why. Symptoms like nausea, boob soreness a week after sex aren't gonna be related to, to pregnancy. It's just too soon for symptoms. Question number three, can someone become pregnant from a little sperm on a toilet seat? Okay, lots of nervousness questions around how can we spread sperm? No, so sperm on a surface is gonna die. It's really when sperm is placed in the vagina is when there is risk of pregnancy. Anything less, no. And sperm sitting on a toilet seat is gonna die very quickly, so no. Question four, can sperm swim up your vagina from clothes through vaginal secretions or your period? That's interesting. So you're thinking that vaginal secretions and your period create like a stream that sperm can swim up, but it's not gonna swim through clothes, no not gonna get pregnant. Question number five, can you get pregnant six days before you get your period? Can you? Very unlikely, honestly, very unlikely. Usually about two weeks before your period is gonna be when ovulation is. So chance of pregnancy six days before your period, very unlikely. Still, be on the safe side, use emergency contraception if you're concerned, but um, unlikely. Question number six. We had sex with a condom at first, but I took it off because I didn't feel anything. After that, we had unprotected sex for about 15 to 20 minutes, but I didn't ejaculate. I took it out and had an ejaculation through a hand job 10 to 12 minutes later. Can this cause pregnancy? No. So the risk of pregnancy here is going to be pre -com. Sounds like you weren't even really close to ejaculation though, and so um, when you were inside the vagina. So pre-cum usually comes out very shortly before ejaculation, um, and it kind of wets the whistle or lubricates the canal so that things can shoot out more effectively. So um, pre-cum is usually released very close to ejaculation. Um, that being said, you may have been closer than I am interpreting, and yeah, there's a little risk. Um, what I would say for you, though, is uh, good job trying a condom. Try to get a thinner condom, one of them, one of those that's meant to enhance the sensation. Um, and yeah, good, good try, good try. Um, Question number seven, can you get pregnant from dry ejaculate on a towel? No, dry is dead. Question number eight, I had no cramps when I got my period this month, which is new to me because every time I have a period, I get heavy cramps and heavy bleeding. 
but this time it was light and looked brownish red with no cramps and it wasn't flowing continuously. Can I be experiencing implantation bleeding or is this a normal period? Am I pregnant? First of all, is there a risk that you're pregnant? Did you have unprotected sex? If so, never a problem to take a pregnancy test. If so the difference between implantation bleeding and period bleeding is going to be pretty significant. A lot of people do worry that a lighter period is implantation bleeding, but realistically, if you're having any amount of clumpiness or prolonged bleeding beyond like 24 to 48 hours, then this is probably a period. So implantation bleeding will be some, some light bleeding or spotting um, that happens when a fertilized egg implants into the wall of the uterus and that is from bumping or nicking a little capillary um, or blood vessel within the wall of the uterus and that should cause a little bit of potentially would cause a little bit of bleeding or spotting should not fill a tampon should not fill a pad and really should resolve within 24 to 48 hours anything beyond that anything heavier than that if you've filled the tampon if you have filled the pad um, it's not, it's very unlikely to be implantation bleeding. Um, if you have concerns, always take a pregnancy test. Um, the cramping, sometimes people have cramps and sometimes they don't. So I wouldn't put too much stock in that. And period consistency can also change from month to month. So I wouldn't totally bank on that either. Question number nine. I gave my boyfriend a blowjob and then he kissed me and then he gave me oral. Will that make me pregnant? No. No, unless, I don't want to get too graphic. Unless there was transfer of the actual ejaculate to your vagina, no, no. Question 10, <laughs> um, can sperm in the urethra left over from masturbating be washed out by urinating, therefore resulting in clean pre-cum? Interesting question. Um, so that is a good way to flush things out but it all comes down to the system so technically the sperm and ejaculate originate before the pee so it is still possible that there's some sperm here that your pee does not catch and shoot out so very good thought, very good thinking. No. No. Uh, so that'll do it for this round of questions. Thanks for watching.